Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another morning. It's pretty cold out here. Ignore the hair. Don't really know what's going on. Today I'm making a trip down to um, Halfords and Wilco's because I'm going to get some WD-40 and um, stainless steel like um, cable ties. That was what I'm looking for. Um, and also, get some balloons and do their tests. I can't remember who suggested it, but I'm going to do a few little tests, see if um, the exhaust gases are coming through all the exhausts. But regardless of whether they are or not, I know the uh, valve is stuck. So, today, it's my mission to fix it. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, we have everything we need. Got these just cheap ass balloons, but they should do the job. WD-40. Cable tires, just going to let the uh, exhaust sit on idle and see if the balloons do much. I mean, regardless of the situation, the exhaust valve is going to remain shut as well. So, um, let's give this a try, see what happens. I honestly don't really know what's going to happen, but I will fix this issue today. So, the balloons are not strong enough, not anywhere near strong enough. So, either I need bigger balloons, or I have one more idea. So, I'm going to call that off as a bit of a bit of a fail. Um, I'm now going to head off again to find some bigger balloons. Um, I have an idea where I can get some and hopefully that will solve my issues. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I think I found some bigger balloons. At least I hope they're bigger. And they're lovely emoji balloons so that totally helps. Well, yeah. I think they're bigger than the previous ones. So let's see what happens. That was the previous one, and they're the new ones, so I hope the opening is a bit bigger. So let me set the camera up and see what we can do. Because I've run the car now, it's no longer cold. So the exhausts are not hot, but they're warm to touch. As well as I can see it, but with the spring attached to it, it's here in this position, pulling it towards the exhaust exit. I'm assuming that's closed, as in as it was in the previous video. Now that I've removed the spring, it's pretty much just resting open. I'm gonna try and spray some WD-40. Yeah, that's that's really loose now. The problem with being directly below something whilst you spray it is it's going to land on your face. Well, that's super loose now. Um, really, really loose. The spring is clearly way too tight. Now that I've removed that and put some WD-40 on here, it's just flexible. So now that I've done that to the exhaust, to the, uh, the, the valve, loosened it up. It seems to be just resting in open now, I think, because the, the spring was holding it closed, as we established in the previous video, because the spring seemed to be way too tight. So now that I've done that, I'm going to try and start the car and see if there's still gases coming from both exhausts, because it's just a bit strange, really. There were obviously gases coming from both exhausts before. put the spring back on now just to check now if the um, exhaust gas has changed because that's f look, I can't push it any further in that direction now because the spring is holding it without the spring it sort of idles in that way which I'm pretty sure is open so I'm pretty sure the spring holds it closed that's why it's so stiff to push it's all because of the spring 
So now let's see if there's more gases coming from the innard rather than the out. I've come to is basically literally just taking off the spring uh, well not even taking it off literally just unhinging it on the one end it's still actually attached um, it's just allowed the the valve now to just be open I don't know if there's anything negative about the the valve just constantly being open um, either way closed or open exhaust gases are coming out of all four pipes um, so yeah, that, that's the conclusion I come to. It, realistically, it was never really seized up or stuck. It was just the spring, I think, is too tight. Um, too tight and just holding the, uh, the hinge for the valve inside the pipe closed permanently, basically. Because you saw the video last week, it does not move no, ma no matter what temperature or RPM. And now, I'm confident it makes a more noise at a higher rev range. I'm fairly confident it does. I feel like the valve is open. But anyway guys, um, I hope that brings this whole situation to a bit of a closure. I'll ask a few other people about it um, over the next few days. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.